hi everyone in this tutorial we will talk about uh, two different widgets of streamlit one is the form widget and the other one is the columns widget so the form widget basically allow us to create forms in streamlit application and i hope that uh, you know very well what are forms okay so whenever you want to register a user you need to create a registration form and whenever you want to sign in or something like that you need to create that particular form okay and now column widget basically allow us to lay out our streamlit app and it basically divides our the screen uh, into columns so that we can put different widgets uh, in different columns separately so uh, we will combine these two uh, widgets and we will create a user registration form in streamlit so first of all uh, i think uh, i should remove this these lines okay so just remove them uh, i need to remove it as well okay and here in the uh, st.title i will remove this st.title and i will just write a mark down here of okay. st.markdow and markdown okay and uh, this will be my uh, let's uh, go with h1 tag here okay uh, let's uh, slash h1 okay and inside this h1 i will say uh, user r e g i s t r a t i o and user registration okay and here i will say u n s f e n s f allow html t are you true okay it's cool and this will be my what i said the h1 tag okay and now uh, let's create a form here so uh, the streamlit basically provide us uh, two different uh, methods to create a form the first method is that we will first create an object of our streamlit form okay and then with the help of the dot operator we can add widgets to that object let's see how it works so just create a form object okay and i will say st dot frm form okay so form and then i need to give a name to this form okay so in this case the key of the form is a mandatory and uh, if you do not try it here a key for if your form you will get an error okay so i will say form form one okay so this will be my form one and let's save it and if i say mm, strem stream uh, lit run run man man dot py but uh, before i run it uh, let's add something to this form as well okay so let's add an input text okay so instead of writing here like st dot txt text input okay uh, i will write here uh, form form dot uh, text input okay so i need to make this text input widget inside this form okay so that's why i'm writing here like this okay and now uh, you can define properties to this uh, text input as well but i will not go with them for now okay so let's save it and uh, if uh, i run it you will find an error here okay and i will tell you why we are getting this error okay so we got this type of error okay which says uh okay so text input missing one required argument okay sorry so we need to define here the uh, label for our text input okay like uh, uh, first first and am first name let's save it i wasn't expecting this error okay so let's uh, always rerun it okay so i was expecting this error which says missing submit button okay so uh, whenever you create a form you need to create a sub submit button for that form as well otherwise you will get this error so now how we can create a submit button for this form the process is very simple you just need to write form form dot form form underscore submit submit underscore b u double t o n button okay and here you need to define a label for your button and i will say submit submit let's save it and yeah this is what i was talking about now this is our submit button for this form and as you can see we have here this uh, text input okay and this is the 
boundary of our form okay so i hope that uh, you have got an idea how a form looks like in streamlit web app and this was the first method okay and now let's talk about the second method uh, of the form creation in streamlit as well okay and that is with the help of with keyword okay so with the help of with keyword you can create a form uh, in streamlit as well okay like if i said width with uh, st dot frm form okay and i need to define a key for this form and i will say frm form maybe form 2 here in this case okay and now uh, inside this block anything you will define will be inside this form okay so like uh, for example if i want to create uh, a text input in this form as well i will i just need to write here st dot txt text input okay now in this case i will not use the object of this form because i am i'm using this with okay and now this part is inside this so the streamlet will create my this text input inside this uh, form okay so uh, we have st dot text input i need to define a label and i will say f i r s t first and a m e name okay so if i save it uh, here you will get an error again okay okay so we got an error again and that is uh, we have uh, a missing submit button okay so we need to create a submit button in this case as well okay so now uh, the creation of submit button in this case is also a simple process just right here st dot frm form underscore submit button and i will say mm, sub mit submit okay let's save it and yeah this is my submit button so i hope that uh, you have understood uh, both methods of creating forms in streamlit application and now let's talk about uh, columns so columns basically allow us to divide our streamlit app screen in columns okay and now in many many user registration forms you have noticed that uh, on our left side we have first name okay and then uh, in front of this first name uh, the registration form ask for last name as well okay and now in order to obtain that feature uh, we need to split this form into two pieces or into two columns and uh, we can done this process with the help of uh, columns widget of streamlet okay so let's create a columns widget here okay so i will say st.columns columns okay and then i need to define my number of columns okay and i want to do i want to divide my this form in two columns okay so i will write here two okay and now this st.columns basically return us a uh, number of columns as well like if you write here two this will return us two columns if you write here three this will return us three columns so now in this case it will return us two columns so i will save my column one in this coi call one variable and then col2 is equals to okay so i will have my column one in this variable and i will have my column two in this variable okay and now now if you write this line outside the form so then this column widget will divide your whole streamlit web app into two different columns okay so uh, let's come to our actual project and that is i need to uh, create my this uh, first uh, form input widget on my left side and then my last name text input widget on my right side okay so uh, here instead of now writing st dot uh, this the widget name i will write here c or l1 column one dot text input okay and if i save it here you will see the difference and yeah this is the difference okay so now our this first name this uh, text input is on my left side and now uh, in front of this uh, first name let's create uh, uh, an other text input as well okay and in this case i will use uh, cl call 2 okay and i will say dot txt text text underscore i n p u t input okay and i will say l a s t last and a me last name let's save it okay and yeah this is what i was talking about now we have this first name we have this last name here okay 
and now uh, uh, we need these two lines uh, we have like uh, email address okay and then uh, we have password and then we have confirm password area as well okay so let's create those inputs as well okay so now here uh, i will not use this column one and column two okay so i will just simply use my uh, st uh, dot uh, txt text uh, form input okay and i will say e n t r enter or not maybe just email address email a double d r e double s email address let's save it and yeah we have here our email address okay and now let's create a password and a confirm password section as well okay so let's write here uh st dot uh, uh, txt text input okay and say password p a double s w r d password okay and let's uh, copy this line okay let's uh, copy it copy and uh, paste it here okay and uh, let's say uh, confirm passwords you uh, and f i r m confirm password okay let's save it and yeah we have email address we have password and confirm password okay so this is how uh, forms work and this is how these columns work and now uh, in the next tutorial we will add functionality to them as well okay and we will add some more data in our this form and i will see you in that tutorial till that point bye bye